threshold in one of the important steps in most of the image processing application in this part we want to teach some threshold in algorithm in OpenCV 3.1 and Visual Studio 2015 okay first image processing has a many algorithms such as image binarization or thresholding thresholding is one of the important steps in most of the computer vision and image processing application it can decrease the data for processing and remove noise segmentation and so on there is two type of thresholding single thresholding and multi-level thresholding in the signal single thresholding uh, we just have a one value for threshold and if the pixel value more than this value the result will be one that means the maximum pixel value because at the final we have a binary image and if the pixel value less than threshold value the pixel value will be zero in multi-level thresholding we have a many value for thresholding and for each value we have a different pixel value for the final image thresholding has a many advantage and we can use for segmentation remove noise decrease the data so increase the speed and it can be separate foreground and background for images for example in the document image an OCR application thresholding can be separate the character from the background we have a some of challenge in thresholding the accuracy usually thresholding method uh, purpose for different area so we don't have a specific thresholding method for working for all area because it's based on type of application that you use the speed is very important because uh, in the most of application thresholding is one of the important and initial step for processing the threshold must find suitable threshold value adaptive it can work in a dark and light environment or images PSNR PSNR is a method for comparison the ground truth image with the result of the thresholding image or in most of the application of image processing using PSNR in order to show the quality of their work is good enough or not thresholding a PSNR uh, this is one of the formula for PSNR the max is maximum pixel value for your image in this case because we use the binary image the maximum will be one and here i j i and j is a guarant rules image minus k i j is a final from your algorithm for example the thresholding method output give your image and this is the pixel value of that one m times n is a resolution of the image okay this is the pseudocode of our algorithm for thresholding method here dipco is one of the benchmark data set used for comparison thresholding method or binarization method in OCR application for example in handwritten here the classical 
standard image this is some publication related to thresholding method now the implementation uh, we use OpenCV 3.1 and Visual Studio 2015 okay here is simple example uh, I put a separate function here we read the image I am read read the image from your path and we change it to grayscale image in order to use for the threshold in algorithm so this is the function of OpenCV threshold this is the input image and this is the output image in this case we, we use same and here the threshold value the threshold value can be 0 to 256 because we use grayscale image the minimum is 0 and the maximum is 256 and for example we use 200 and here the maximum value for the threshold and here the type of threshold the OpenCV implemented some type of threshold method that you can use so if you run the program and finally to show the result okay they change this image to this image okay we change the threshold value for example from 200 to 20 you get this one for example as you see if the threshold value doesn't proper so you lost some part of the important area of images for example here we have a text but for this threshold value we don't see that text okay we can use the mean value for the threshold by this function we can get the mean value or average value of the all pixels from the images and we use that mean value for the threshold here the result ok another one we want to see the threshold from 10 to 240 here we see the image result for all threshold value here we can read the image and change to grayscale. scale get the mean um, it doesn't require in this four from the threshold 10 to threshold below 240 we change the image by this threshold value and we show watch and you can see for each threshold value here the threshold value and you can see the result Okay. okay I show some example for implementation uh, for thresholding OpenCV have a 
different hair shortening method this is value of the threshold level this is binary that I show you just now just 0 and 1 for each pixel value binary invert uh, is a just a invert that result if 1 now is 0 if 0 if 1 this is another type another type and another type the formula of these methods also implemented also and other methods For example, if you want to apply adaptive threshold, the adaptive threshold is a most common and new method for thresholding. We can use the Gaussian. using the adaptive threshold previously we used threshold so by using this method the result is this This is the latest method for thresholding. And the algorithm work on this. If you want to read and more about this algorithm and implementation, you can refer to these two papers. This one and this one. They explain this method to you. 